One Shelley Street Sydney showcases how collaboration between builder, developer and end user can far exceed environmental benchmarks and positively enhance the bottom line. Designed and constructed in conjunction with their tenant, the Macquarie Group, Brookfield Multiplex have created a world-leading, state-of-the-art, high-performance building. Managing Director of Brookfield Multiplex, George Costas, is very proud of his company's achievements. For us, we see Shelley Street being an example of a building with a greater life, uh, one that is far easier to tenant, uh, and one that produces enhanced returns to investors. So we see this as an example of a living, organic building that uh, improves the well-being of all those who occupy it. Collaboration between ourselves and Macquarie Group was extremely important. Without working together, understanding each other's objectives right from the very start, we would not have achieved the outcome in this building. In collaborating very early on in the piece, with all the stakeholders in the project, you can actually outperform and outachieve everyone's expectations. But the industry has uh, many examples of the benefit of environmental sustainability in buildings. But what our research proved that there is greater value driven out of the social aspects of sustainability and then that drives even greater economic performance. And standing here I, I just look around and, and I can see that this building has actually had an impact on the people who live and work in it. It's a combination of, of Brookfield Multiplex taking some thought leadership on this issue, the pride and passion of the people working on this project with just an inane belief that they could actually achieve something. Well the industry as a whole treats Green Star as an aspirational target. For Brookfield Multiplex we just see it as a starting point, a baseline. So, obviously, green design is a significant aspect of future buildings. But how does the Green Star rating work? Romilly Madhu, the CEO of Green Buildings Council of Australia, knows better than most what goes into achieving six green stars. What Green Star is, it's a leadership tool. It is looking at the environmental quality of a building. Green Star only looks at four, five and six. Okay. Four being best practice and six being world leadership. One, Shelley Street is significant for a number of reasons. Firstly, it achieved a six star rating. So it has achieved the highest rating you can in Australia and makes it comparable internationally. And it is recognised for its international leadership. But what's interesting about One Shelley Street is it didn't just focus on one area, such as water or energy efficiency. There are so many different concepts in One Shelley Street that make it a special building. It also thought about those people who are in the building. It's a building for people. Both governments and industry are really saying, what is the business case for a green building? Shelley Street shows that. It shows it environmentally and it shows it via the productivity and the fantastic indoor environment quality that it has achieved. They've reduced energy use by 50% and they've reduced waste by 35%, which is huge numbers. When the founder of the World Green Building Council stands up and says, one Shelley Street was one of the best buildings I have ever seen environmentally, I think it really stands for itself, for where it fits internationally on the spectrum of green buildings. There's no denying that this is an impressive building. It ticks every box when it comes to environmental sustainability. But to give a true value to a high performance building like this, then we have to also look at its social impact. Now, research suggests that the major costs of business are the energy costs, which make up around 5%, the rent and mortgage costs, which make up about 10%, and up to 85% of a business's costs lie in its people. Brookfield Multiplex undertook an independent study in collaboration with the University of New South Wales and the University of Technology Sydney to quantifiably measure the performance of one Shelley Street. Lauren Haas from Brookfield Multiplex explains. This research was benchmarked off of almost 100 buildings in Australia and almost 500 buildings internationally and the really exciting thing was that the occupants rated it in satisfaction and comfort at the top. It's a significant feat to actually value productivity, but until you value it, it doesn't go into financial decisions. The true success of this project was really the total collaboration of Macquarie's interactive way of working, as well as the building, and the building acts as a catalyst to maximize performance. What really excited us was that the research showed that the occupants perceived performance in this space increased by nearly 15%. If you consider that the people who work in the building cost nearly 20 times the cost per square meter to build the building, 
that equals a significant amount of savings. With the open floor plan and abundance of natural light, this building is conducive to Macquarie's new activity-based working approach, where workers choose their area based on the type of work that needs to be done on a particular day. It's all about, you know, the quality of work that you're producing, the output and the outcomes that you're getting, not the time spent at your desk. For me, it's about flexibility, choice, freedom and trust. Someone who understands the importance of performance for his business and his people is Peter Ma, Head of Banking and Financial Services for Macquarie Group. And what was your vision for the new space? I think we saw it as an opportunity if we were going to move to create definitely something that had a wow factor. Um, we wanted something that, that was a <laughs> well, hopefully create a new generation workspace. You know, we've got a young team and what could we do in terms of technology, the way it was designed, yeah. that would really inspire them and go, I actually want to come to work. And when we surveyed our team on what they wanted from a new building, environmental sustainability was something that came through loud and clear. And so that has been built in. And so the fact that we don't have a traditional um, air conditioning system, we have basically chilled beam structure on the outside of the building, which actually facilitates the same thing. So we've had a reduction in energy consumption. We've had a reduction in paper usage. It's a six star green building. And I think that's very, very important for the staff and increasingly for a number of our clients. But how important was the collaboration between you and Brookfield Multiplex? It was really important and I think we had a great partner who shared the vision to create an iconic building for Sydney. The research at One Shelley Street, Sydney proved that by creating a green high performance building you not only save in areas such as energy, water and waste, but you can also have a great effect on the productivity of the end user. The results here, huge saving for the tenant's cost base and a more valuable asset for the building's owner. We're saving like $100 million over 10 years. Yeah. And so there's a pragmatism, there always is a pragmatism to Macquarie, um, but it's married to, I think, a vision which is let's try and create a, a genuinely inspiring workplace. If you can take the benefits that this building has generated for one workplace uh, and one team of people and you expand that across a whole suburb, a whole city, Imagine the, the social and economic benefits for a whole city or a whole community. And I think that's the next generation. Here are some of the findings that came out of the University of New South Wales and the University of Technology Sydney's research.